Hey students, we are going on a virtual field trip today to the Amazon rainforest. This is going to be an excellent adventure and I cannot wait to embark on it with you. So let's get into this now. Welcome to the Amazon rainforest and get ready to see some exotic plants and animals that you won't see anywhere else in the world. As you know, rainforests are one of the Earth's major habitats. Habitats are areas that share the same weather, plants, and animals. Tropical rainforests are located around the world in Central and South America, parts of Africa, Asia, and Australia. They are usually found close to the equator. Millions of years ago, rainforests covered most of the earth. This is where the dinosaurs once lived. Now, they only cover 7% of the earth, but are home to half of the world's animal and plant species. Today, we are going to explore the South American rainforest in the Amazon basin. It is the largest of all the rainforests the Amazon rainforest is about 2.5 million square miles. It's a bit smaller than the United States of America. Here you'll find more than 1,600 species of birds, 230 kinds of snakes, 600 different mammals, 40 different types of turtles, and over 70,000 kinds of insects. Many of these species can't be found anywhere else in the world. You will also hear this rainforest called Amazonia because the mighty Amazon River runs through it. The Amazon is 4,000 miles long and is the second longest river in the world. As their name tells us, rainforests get much more rain than anywhere else in the world. It is usually rainy, a it is usually rainy and rains about 260 inches each year, but can get as much as 400 inches. Not only is it wet, it is also very warm since it's so close to the equator. The average daily temperature is usually between 86 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit. A wet and warm region like this means that everything grows really well. This explains why the trees are so incredibly tall. Some parts of the rainforest are in mountainous areas. Up high in the treetops, are, they're always covered in rainy clouds. This is why they appear to be in the clouds. We call these areas cloud forest. The Amazon, along with every other tropical rainforest, has four layers. The emergent layer, the canopy layer, the understory, and the forest floor. Each layer has its own story to tell. The emergent layer is the highest in the rainforest. It is where the tallest of the trees stick out from the top of the canopy. These are also the oldest trees in the Amazon rainforest, maybe even hundreds of years old. They can easily grow 165 feet tall, some even grow higher. In order to live so high up in the rainforest, animals need to be able to fly or climb. You might find many different types of birds, such as the harpy eagle, looking for his next meal. They also protect their young by building their nest very, very high up in the emergent layers. You can also see many colorful birds here, including many different types of parrots. Parrots live in big, noisy flocks high up in the treetops. And there are many different types of parrots. They usually feed on fruit seeds, flower buds, and insects. Spider monkeys can spin their lives up in the treetops and are expert climbers. They are able to use their arms, legs, and even their tail to grip the branches. 
The blue morpho butterfly is one of the many colorful butterflies that we see floating around the treetops. Moving down to the next layer, we will find ourselves in the canopy. This is the umbrella of the treetops covering the rainforest. It is the main layer of the rainforest. More animals live in the canopy than any other layer. In fact, about two thirds of the rainforest animals can be found in the canopies. Here you might find the slow moving sloth who hangs upside down all day long. Or you might see some bright colored orange monkeys and some resident birds. Sometimes you'll see some snakes and butterflies such as this emerald tree boa who is an excellent climber and can camouflage well in the tree canopy. If a howler monkey catches one of these snakes, it will sound an alarm that will be impossible to ignore. Their yells are ear splitting. Macaws, like this brilliant blue macaw, there are only one of the many birds living around the canopy. Many animals are able to find food, water, and shelter here. So they have no desire to leave this area. The canopy is also one of the safest choices for 30% of the world's birds, like this red-green macaw, and this toucanet, and this pinnet bird. There are small birds and big birds. Hummingbirds are one of the smallest birds that you will find in the canopy layer. The birds are very important, especially the hummingbirds. They use their long bills to get deep into the flowers and get, their, get the liquid out of the flowers and then pollen is left on their beaks so they po actually pollinate all the other flowers in the area whenever they fly to them. These colorful toucans like to hang out in the canopy. They eat leaves, fruits, and nuts. Here is one of the most recognizable creatures in the Amazon, the red-eyed tree frog. It has suction cups on its tiny little feet and it allows him to move very easily through the forest. You will also find a lot of insects in the floor, floor, forest as well as spiders. The spiders can crawl up and down the trees easily, and some of the biggest spiders in the world live in the Amazon rainforest. They can grow to be as large as a dinner plate. They come out tonight to hunt, and they like to hunt chameleons. Chameleons live in the canopy along with many other lizards. Also, chameleons can move their eyes separately. This helps the chameleon stay safe from lurking predators that want to make them dinner. They can also change color to hide. This works as a great camouflage, and there are many different types of rep reptiles that use camouflage to hide in the rainforest. This allows them to survive against predators. I hope you enjoyed this field trip to the Amazon rainforest. I sure did. I can't wait for our next field trip. See you next time.